hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is frank taylor today on the channel we are going to talk about how you can open an echo bank bank account online 100 percent online and this is free without wasting much time let's get started Now, Ecobank is one of the best banks you can find in Africa. I am in Europe, Germany, precisely, and I've opened an account with Ecobank. I did it 100% online. I have an Euro account, I have a dollar account, and I have a CD account. And it's very simple to do it online. Believe you me, it's even simple as compared to going to the bank yourself to do it. So without wasting my time, we are going to get into the app and we get started. So now we are getting into the app to verify and find out how we can open the Ecobank bank account. So you go to www.ecobank.com. That is www.ecobank.com. And you choose the first option, that's Ecobank. And with the euro and the dollar account, all that I open, you don't pay any charges unless you apply for an ATM card. If you apply for an ATM card, you are going to pay charges for it. But then with the Ecobank account, the euro, dollar or CD account, you don't have to pay anything. And I think it applies to all the African countries too. So opening an account is not a problem with Ecobank. So you get to the app. With the app, you go to, we have open a bank account. We have mobile banking with app and we have talk to us. So in this case, we are going to open a bank account. So we click on that. We click on the open a bank account. So you get into it. Now you have these options. You have the current account to manage your cash and you have all these options coming down. You have the classic current account. We have all these apps coming down and you choose so we have a pop-up menu. We have show accounts with. So in this case, we are going to choose internet. We are going to choose, we have advanced uh, facility, credit card, debit card, internet banking, mobile banking. So in our case, we are going to choose internet banking. So you choose internet banking and you come to this classic current account. So let me choose that one, classic current account. You click on apply and it's very simple. You just get into it. Actually, I have an account there. So there, there's no need for me to fill in the forms, asking your date of birth, your email address and all this. You don't have to go through all this stress. I have the account already. So I just put in my password. I just put in my password and that is it. I log in. So it's very simple with a, a bank account. So this is my application. We have my application, we have products, my documents, support and profile. And this is the interface. You can see everything. You have the business account, business products, internet current accounts, savings accounts, credit cards, loans and agency banking. So that is it. So we scroll up and we choose, we go to my application. As I said before, uh, we have classic savings account. I tried to open this account, but then before then I didn't know the requirements. So I, I was rejected for the first time. And that's as you can see on the screen, I was rejected. So I found out what the problem was and that is it. I opened an account. We have the advantage current account. That is the Euro account that I opened. You can see on the screen. That's the, the one I opened early on. And we have the adv advantage savings account. I've opened that one. You can see it's open at the green thing. You can see it over there. And you have the premier account too. So one is a dollar account, one is a CD account, and one is a, an, a, a Ghana account too. A Ghana account, yeah, as I can say, I can put it. Ghana CD account. And that is it. So let's get into it. The most important thing is the documents that you need to open the account with. The requirements that they will be asking from you. So it's very simple. Let's get to my documents and get to know the things they will be asking of us. So you get to my documents. And first thing they will ask from you is the customer photo. The customer photo, that is a selfie. You can take a personal password photo as in a small photo of you, or you take a selfie straight away and you can just upload it. So you just upload it and that is all. You are done with that. And you go to identification documents. This is the most important aspect of it. You can use international passports. 
if you are outside the country, you are an African and you are outside the country, you can still use your passport. Or if you have you have other documents like driving licenses, you can use that one. If you have a SNIT, you can use it. If you have the, a voter's ID, that's an old voter's ID or the new voter's ID, you can use it. Actually, I'm, I'm from Ghana, so I'm talking about the requirements you use for Ghana. But I think it applies to all the African countries too. And your national ID can also be used. And if you're not a resident in the country or in any African country, you have to it has to be notarized so that means it has to be satisfied before you can use it but then you can use your passport i think it's it's possible to use your passport because it's a scanned copy and that is it if everything is intact they can use it they can use it to apply for it so you have a work id you can use your work id the front and the back you can use it and that is the most important aspect of it these are the requirements they will be asking of you to open this account and it's very simple either international passport a driving license a snit an old voters id or a new voters id as i may put it right now the national id and the notarized proof of id if you're not a resident in ghana or if you're not a resident in any african country you've traveled outside the country but you have a document intact you can use it so that is it for the identification documents they will be asking of you and proof of residence this part is also very very important now i am not from ghana i'm not in ghana right now as i may put it so i use uh, a, an electricity bill back home to apply for this but because i'm not in ghana or because i'm the name on the electricity bill doesn't bear my name it bears my father's name i had to what i have to bring a gps address and with that it's very simple as in Ghana for right now, in Ghana right now, you can use the Ghana Post. I think the Ghana Post app, wherever you are, you just open the app and it's going to give you the address and you can just screenshot it and add it to this document and upload it. That is all. You are good to go. So you need a utility bill. And if the utility bill bears your name, that is all. You can use that one to utility bill client's name. If it bears your name, you don't have any problem or a copy of a water or electricity bill you can use that one too for it and it's very simple you just get the electricity bill you upload it and that is it and resident certificate i mean any of this is not like you have to get all of these things you have to get one of these things to just upload it in me in my case i just use the utility bill with utility bill uh, attached to my ghana post address i just screenshot it and i just uploaded it and that is all and extra documents let's get to the extra documents with the extra documents before then i want i wanted to use the address in germany to do it but i realized that no it's not that important i can use it back home where i was staying to uh, to apply for it so i used back home and i didn't have to upload anything here but then if you are outside the country you have to get your tenancy agreement form you upload it and that is all you can just get your documents to be done so that is all. So after all these documents, after uploading all these documents, please, they are going to give you a UTN number. With the UTN number, keep it. Keep it because within a week or two, your, your account will be open for you. They, will, they are going to send you an email. So you just check it out. Your email, uh, your account will be in and that is all. You are done with it. But then if you want to have uh, any interaction or any conversation or any chat with the customer service you need your utn number so please keep this number and that is all your account is open thanks for watching my video see you in my next video bye